Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the 1988 top set and its errors. Very much a junk wax set and very much a ton of errors. Uh, look at the timer down below. This is going to be a long video and I didn't want it to be that way, but there's a lot of errors to cover. And there's some pretty cool ones too. I've been putting together like all these lists online, about six different error lists online and going through each one of them line by line to make sure they're actually accurate and correct. I'm not going to tell you how many hours I spent research <laughs> researching that, but uh, it's a pretty cool list and it's a big list. There's 792 cards on the set. It's kind of a boring looking card, I think. The only notable card is a $3 card. That's the Tom Glavin rookie card. That's it. There's nothing else more valuable in the card. Of course, some of the errors we're going to talk about, I would definitely price more than three bucks. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's get started. Uh, the first error I want to mention is not really like a error as defined in the hobby. It's more of a misprint printing anomaly. And there's a lot of these really common with this particular set. Uh, one of them is their wrong backs where they'll have two sheets stuck together when they print it. And it'll have the wrong player on the back of the card. That was very common with the 88 tops. The other one is simply the blank fronts where it will have, you know, white cardstock and not have anything on the front. And then the back of the card will be the player. And then I came across something very inexpensive off eBay where it was a backwards printed card. And it's the only one I've seen like this where this Ellis Burks card, the back of it, you know, looks really light, like really light cardstock, like a Topps Tiffany card, but it's not. It's the front of the card with the back printed on it. Are you following me? And then the front of it looks really dark and it's because it's the back of the card and they printed the front of the card on it. I think I picked that up for like four bucks on eBay one time. The only one I've seen like that. But it's just one of those examples of lots of issues going on with the 1988 top set. And moving on, number three, Mark McGuire. This is his record breaker card. Really one of the first errors I remember as a kid where it has that little white section behind his foot. They corrected that by taking that off. Card number four, Eddie Murray. This is weird. It has a caption on the front. And it's just a weird looking card anyway with like this two Eddie Murrays on there because <laughs> he's a switch hitter. But they decided to take the caption off. And so it's kind of more of a variation. Card number six, Nolan Ryan. On the on the left border next to his uh, hand, there's a little line there. And there is reports of yellow and white on that line and then no line at all. You got to look close to see that one. Number 18, Al Leader. Now, this one is kind of cool because probably one of the most famous errors in this set only comes in at 50 cents for either one. We've got two different pictures here, but that's not actually him. That is a teammate uh, by the name of Steve George. Now, they came back and corrected that. And here's the corrected one, and uh, it doesn't get any extra value, but a uh, pretty cool one there. Uh, moving on, number 34, Ricky Horton, has a red line above Cardinals on the front. It's kind of hard to see, but when you see it there, there's a little red line up there. They did come back and correct that. Card number 37, Ed Romero, comes in a yellow name. The name can be kind of yellow printed there. And I wasn't able to come up with an example to find that, but uh, it is confirmed online. Card number 51, Baltimore Orioles team leader, has a single tone back. Now, this is kind of weird. Now, look at the back of it there where it has two different color oranges and then the white, which is really kind of an off-white. But there's a single tone where it just has one type of orange on the back. So kind of a cool one. Card number 179, Charlie, I guess it's Puleo. Uh, the E in the Braves is incomplete. Now, they did correct that where they filled it in properly. The error does seem more rare on that one, just like many of the other errors on this set. That one is not recognized by Beckett at all. Card number 190, Candy Maldonado has a white line at the lower left where the photo uh, meets the border. Now, they did come back and correct that one as well. Card number 211, Frank DePino. The B in Cubs is kind of incomplete. They didn't fill it in all the way. They did come back and correct that. Number 229, Jeff Musselman. That's a cool name, right? But <laughs> this one has uh, two different white spots by the trophy. Uh, I wasn't able to confirm that. I definitely see that there is one white spot. And I'll show you a picture of that. And then there's the corrected where there's no white spot in that little yellow area. Pat Taylor, number 230. This one was unconfirmed. Now, the bench, the little bench he's sitting on in the background comes in different colors it can be kind of a yellowish it can be kind of more of a like a whitish reddish uh, color i just believe that was kind of more of a printing variation than it was an actual mass produced error so i'm not really convinced that's an error we can leave that one open for interpretation let's move on number 231 pittsburgh pirates team now this one's kind of cool so you got you got bonia you got uh my boy barry bonds there um 
there's a little yellow spot above Bobby Bonilla's cap. And uh, it is something that was mass produced. It's not just a printing flaw. It actually was mass produced. They come back and corrected that one where you can get it with or without that yellow dot. Number 260, Vince Coleman. This is an uncorrected error. Born in 1961, not 1960, as the card says. Number 269, Ellis Burks. We talked about this one earlier, uh, but he actually has some errors on there where the trophy and his name actually will touch each other. But they did correct that. They kind of moved him away so they're not touching. And card number 295, Burt by Levin, Hall of Fame pitcher. That's a kind of a funny error on the, or considered a variation over his right shoulder. has a crack on the wall, and that comes either like a black crack or they kind of filled it in, so it's called the white crack version. But you can still see that it's a crack. Card number 330, Ed Whitson, has a green mark on his thigh, kind of up near his butt there. And uh, just a little green mark that happened in the printing process. They did come back and airbrush that out with some white. Uh, Brian Holton, number 338. Now, this one's kind of funny. In his 87, it says his ERA was .389. Well, that would be an amazing ERA, but it's not correct. It should be 3.89, a little more believable. They did not come back and correct that one. Number 348, Jim Eisenrich has uh, some scratches on his arm. They could be in different colors. Now, the internet was saying that it can be like six different variations of this uh, scratch with different colors. I only found two. In card number 374, manager Doc Edwards has some color bleeding at the bottom right-hand corner of the card where next to his name you'll see a little bit of color bleeding into the like the border of the card it can either be blue there's some pink and then there's a corrected one where there's no bleeding at all uh, number 381 california angels team leader cards well this one has wally joiner on it as one of them and he has a magenta slash across his body there very strange looking i wasn't able to find a very big picture of it so you got to take my word for it but it's extremely rare if you have this one i was able to confirm it but I don't have one. I'd love to get one of these. Number 405, Dwight Gooden. Dot Gooden. This is the all-star card. There's some missing blue ink at the top of the R in the word star on the front of the card. Uh, there actually was an attempt to come back and fill it, and it wasn't done. And then there's a, a third version where it is completely filled. So I'm not sure what, what was going on there with uh, tops, uh, some, some of their poor quality control. Number 416, Keith Moreland. The Cubs lettering where the bat is is a little bit unfilled. They come back and change that. So there's a couple different variations of this where it's in different levels of being filled with color in the blue. Card number 444, Cal Ripken Sr. This is a manager card. He has two copyrights on the back of the card, so it's kind of a funny one. Uh, number 447, Jeff Montgomery. Two different sized blotches over his shoulder. You can kind of see it there. It's a little bit hard to see the corrected one, but they did airbrush that out and kind of correct that. 492, Doyle Alexander shows his date of birth is September 4th, but on the card it says the 5th, so the 4th is correct, but they did not come back and correct that one. Uh, 493, Mike Greenwell. So just like the Ellsberg's card, where it has the bottom right-hand corner of the All-Star Rookie Gold Cup card, the name is actually touching the trophy, but they came back and corrected that word. There's a little bit of space between there. And 497, Kevin Mitchell. This one's open for interpretation as well. So this card, he has a couple different color variations of his jersey that he's wearing. While people claim that that's a mistake, I believe it's probably more of just an ink issue when they printed the card, but I'll let you guys decide on that one. And then card number 500, Andre Dawson. The U in Cubs on the front is uh, has some filling issues where it's not completely filled with color they did come back and correct that where it's completely filled and checklist number 528 has a kind of a funny error on it card number 455 on that checklist has uh shows us two different names so the error shows steve carlton well that was the last year he played so tops wasn't going to include him in the checklist so they they changed that and they put in Sean Hillegas instead. Number 544, Jim Traber has the bat tip that goes over the top border there. They did correct that one. Number 571, Mark Williamson. The bottom of Orioles is yellow where it hits the hat. Well, they did come back and correct that as well. Mark McGuire, number 580. This is his regular card. So there's some weird things going on with that dark green stripe at the top where it kind of bleeds over into the in the edge of the card. They did correct that one. 619 Mike Dunn has the black name on the front. His it's in black letters where it should be white. Now everyone for their team has white letters. His is the only one in black for some reason. Number 628 Dave Henderson. 
This is kind of interesting. He has a little black mark on his lip, and it's clearly a printing thing. It's not like he was injured or something like that. They did come back and airbrush that out and corrected that. Number 629, Kelly Downs. This is an uncorrected error where it says 1984 stat line shows as just four. So instead of 84, it's just the number four. It just really kind of stands out there, as you can see. They did not correct that one. 637, J. Bell. There's purple on the second N in the Indians, and it's incomplete. It's not filled in all the way again. So we're kind of seeing several of those. They did come back and correct that one as well. There is actually seems to be several variations of this where... The filling is in different stages. Gary Templeton, number 640, uncorrected error, shows the green border. Now, it should be brown if you look at all his teammates' cards, everyone for that team. The Tiffany here is actually in a yellow border. I don't know why it was yellow, but it should have been brown. And there's a second error with this card. I love I love it when there's a <laughs> double error. It shows he was born in Locky when it should be Lockney as his uh, city of birth. Moving on, number 658, Tim Conroy. His name is in white, and everyone for his team should be in black, so that was an uncorrected error. Um, technically, it's a variation. Number 663, Ron Blomberg. There's a line in the right border that goes through the name on the front, and they did come back and correct that. This is the uh, Turn Back the Clock card. Mike Burbeck, number 692. He should have had zero saves in 84, not two. Give the guy a break. <laughs> That's kind of sad. He, he actually had zero, and they gave him two by accident. Number 716, Len Sakata. He was born in 54, not 53, as it shows. 725, Mike Boddicker. The bottom of the R in Orioles is colored white, or it may come in yellow. 739, Daryl Boston. has a green line along the bat. It just kind of follows the line of the bat there. Again, not recognized by Beckett and not worth any money either. 754, Mike Lacoste. Now, this one is really hard to see. You have to kind of scan it and zoom in to see it. With the naked eye, you kind of, you, you'll miss it. There's this quarter circle in the top right-hand corner of the card. There is two variations of that. They did come back and correct that, um, but that's kind of a kind of a cool one. And it's really easy to miss. Uh, Seven fifty nine. Oakland A's team leader has a double copyright, just like on that Cal Senior card. It has a double copyright on the back of the card that I'll show you. Number seven sixty seven. Jose Leaned. I don't know if this is really a huge thing, but it has some shadowing around the tops logo at the bottom of the card. It either could be yellow or white. But again, I don't think it's a big deal. I think a lot of Topps cards have that issue. This one just seems to be prevalent in Jose Lean's card. Uh, number 778, Keith Comstock. Uh, this is definitely one of the big ones, more common errors that you hear about in this card. And this one is in Beck. It only comes in at a couple bucks, so Where the Padres is in white instead of blue. It should be in blue, but they printed it in the white letters. They did come back and correct that. You, you're going to get the corrected for about a nickel. 786, Joe Price. You have the team name that is in orange. It should be in yellow, though, if you look at all his teammates cards. And 792, John Tudor. The second A in Cardinals is incomplete. They did not fill that in all the way. And last but not least, we had these not numbered cards. They were basically little offers that were put in each pack of cards. If you ever cracked open some 1988 tops, you probably just immediately threw that card in the trash. It was a, basically an offer to buy like some glossy all-star cards or something like that. <laughs> and on the card, they had a, some funny errors where they had a message on the bottom that said, cards not included. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If you're buying cards through tops, it shouldn't say cards not included. Um, so that was an error. They tried to cover that up with a black arrow. And some of those arrows are slightly off center, so where you can still see the letters uh, coming through them. And then tops corrected that where they didn't even have anything at all. It was just, just clear. And that's the one I was able to pull. I wasn't able to find a lot of pictures. And there's apparently one more error out there of this card where it's a silver arrow. And I wasn't able to find a picture of that, so I wasn't able to confirm that. But that rounds out all the errors in the set. There's a ton of them. <laughs> you guys made it. Look at the timer down. <laughs> you guys made it there. Thanks for uh, tuning in for that. Don't forget to check out my buddy Darren at GruntTalksMLB.com. He just hired Billy Martin Jr. Yeah, so that's the Billy Martin you're thinking of. It's, the, it's his son of the great Billy Martin of the Yankees. And now he's going to be helping out with, uh, with their website. And well, I don't know what he all has in store for that. That's pretty cool, though. So check out GruntTalksMLB.com. And guys, I hope you're liking and subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. You made it. You have a great day.